This group of young people represents the first cohort to participate in the program. They spent a portion of their summer engaged in activities focused on highlighting the dangers of substance abuse, understanding the law and receiving counseling on conflict resolution and other related issues. The aim of the initiative is to end violence, end neglect, end bullying, end drug abuse, and end crime, and instead engage in positive activities. Corporal Jeanette Morton of the Youth Intervention Unit provides a brief overview. To the development of this program, the team engaged in stakeholder consultation within the police, the churches, education, community, sports, sports clubs, and the general community. Student representative Tyler Moore, an aspiring police commissioner, also shares his experience over the past few weeks. At this camp, I learned to keep my anger under control and to think very highly of myself and to stay away from a life of crime and to live up to the dreams that my parents have put me in to help me become the person I am today. Education officer in charge of guidance counseling, Andrea Errol, commended the relevant agencies for putting on the program. I hope that the knowledge and skills that you gain during these sessions will help to guide your behavior over the next academic year. Director of Family and Social Services Fiona Charles Richards also has some encouraging words for parents in attendance. Remember to speak to your child, not at your child. Start having conversations about your day, as simple as, how was your day? Or, what is your favorite subject again? The program also received support from the Member of Parliament for the St. John's Rural West constituency, the Honorable Richard Lewis, ABLP caretaker Michael Joseph, local pastors, the business community, and many others. Theresa Goodwin, ABS News.